and a life that fell just like a curse. Two mean and ugly stepsisters, her stepmother was worse. I'm happy to be joined today on Primetime Local News by Erica M. Now, Erica is a very familiar face to most Canadians from your former career, Erica, as a VJ on Much Music. And today we're talking about uh, a little bit different subject. But first of all, thank you so much for joining us. Happy to be here. Now, Erica, I want to talk about this series that you have, uh, Out of the Books. Had a chance to look at the first episode, and it's really unique. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, what you saw was not what we intended to write. Brian Banks is a well-known composer and songwriter out of L.A., and he reached out to me and asked me to write a play that would encompass 18 songs that he'd already written. What makes these songs really unique is that each song tells the story of a well-known fairy tale. My job was, how do I find a storyline that it would make sense to have songs about fairy tales in it? So we came up with a really unique concept and created a cast of kooky characters, and we wrote a piece of musical theater that was supposed to launch in Edinburgh at the Fringe Festival. Well, COVID blew it all up, and so we had to pivot and we decided to shoot the entire show as a digital musical series for kids that would be housed on YouTube, which meant a total rewrite, but we were able to cast the actors from around the world, some of the best names in musical theater. So we have a couple of the performers are from the cast of Hamilton in UK, and our actors are from UK and from the US, and we directed the whole thing on our Zoom channel, and everybody shot their uh, their parts on iPhones in their homes during lockdown. And the results are, I think, really like, so much more exciting than just musical theater. Well, and everybody is obviously having to adapt now, Erica, and good for you guys for doing it because the result is is incredible from what I can see. And what is your target audience for this? Is it the younger, really younger kids, or is it kind of meant for it for everybody? Oh, this is a family show. So the way I wrote it, there are sort of inside jokes and humor for adults, but a real playful and gentle feel for kids. It's not a patronizing show for kids, so we don't go, hey kids, it's not one of those shows. It's actually, I think, a really interesting musical theater piece that has a storyline and unique characters and also great production. The songs are fantastic. The, um, the instrumentation, it's pop music at its finest. Now tell me a little bit about the characters in this series. How would they compare to the older fairy tales? Have you really modernized them and, and jazzed them up quite a bit? Yeah, so what we did is the concept of the show is we were looking for a star in the land of once upon a time. So the people who were putting their hands up to audition to be the star in the show are all people who were sort of second run. They never made it into a famous fairy tale. But each of their, and, and this is sort of in the story, each of them are very interesting characters and they all want to be stars. And uh, they're all kind of quirky. Uh, but only one will be chosen as the star, which is the storyline of the show. And um, the winner of the show, well, that's the point. You got to watch the whole series to find out. But we have characters like Trixie, who is the morally ambiguous witch. Um, we have T Roll, who is a combination of uh, an elf and a troll. There therefore, his name is T Roll. Uh, we have the ogre, whose name is Warble, who does not play well with others. We have a princess, Euphony, who is quite shrill, I would say and certainly not destined to win the competition. Uh, and then we have the beautiful blue fairy, Melody the Blue Fairy, who her whole life was told that she's the wrong shade of blue. And on this show, she discovers that she's just the right shade. So that's a, a look at some of the characters. Obviously, the most important character is the librarian. And her job is to protect all the fairy tales in our treasury of tales where all the old fairy tales are kept. 
And the treasury, treasury of Tales is crumbling these days and her job is to protect it. And this show helps her do it. Well, Erica, if people are interested in watching the first episode, where do they go for it? And how many episodes are you guys going to be releasing? Well, the show is going to be eight episodes and you can find them on YouTube and they're going to be dropped every two weeks. So the first episode is there. We also have some sort of behind the scenes footage with each of the characters so you can get to know them. But if you go on social media, you can find us everywhere. All you look for is outofthebooks.com and you will find the characters, the stories, the songs, the land and so much more. Well, Erica, thank you so much for joining today. This sounds uh, like a really exciting adventure and lots of fun to be involved in, especially during these times when, you know, a lot of us are stuck inside and, and can't go out or are limited as to where we can go out. This is really something great for the family. So once again, good luck with the rest of this. And thank you again for speaking with us today. Thanks so much for having me. Thank you.